Two best friends, one fatal decision. The violent crash on Jericho Avenue that killed an 18-year-old Grand Rapids woman happened on Thanksgiving, and the driver, the victim's best friend, pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor today. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples uncovered that the friends had been driving more than 100 miles an hour, hitting a hill that has a crash history dating back decades, and it's teenagers who are dying. Tony, 911, where's your emergency? I lived just off Jericho, and I heard a huge boom. It sounds like a car hit a tree. Just an explosion is like the only way I can describe it. I immediately called 911 and went out on the front porch. You said you think it came from what street? I think Jericho, in between the high school and 10 Mile. Okay, oh, hold on just a second. You were young. Uh, There's it. people oh. screaming. It's always been a dangerous road, uh, no shoulder. I mean, the trees are right there. It's not just the stomach dropping dip. Jericho's peak is blind. You don't see lights coming the other way until right about the top of that hill. On moonless nights, this half mile stretch in Plainfield Township south of Rockford can be a scary place. It's just very, very dark back there. There's no light. No posted speed limit either, so it's 55 by default. It's terrifying to drive on that road with new drivers, and there's so many new drivers. An entire high school's worth, actually. On its south end, Jericho backs up to Rockford High School's front door. The road's steepest pitch looms less than a mile north, and just west of that, the River Bluff subdivision and Nikki Feldkamp's house. If a cop could just drive down Jericho, sure, that would be all we need. Okay. Okay. Hold on just a second. Do you hear yelling? Uh, there's it. people Hold. screaming. I could hear a girl screaming, just help. From the crumpled remains of a Volkswagen Jetta, the Feldkamp said a young woman emerged, clearly hurt and alone, at least it seemed. That was when she started screaming and was yelling about her friend and where is she? And we kind of both were just like, what is she talking about? 19-year-old Ella Vesey was talking about her passenger and best friend. And so I walked up a little further, and the girl, the, the friend, was basically kind of under what was left of the car, the second part of the car. 18-year-old Nevaeh Downs had just graduated from Northview High School, where she was known for her infectious laugh, deep empathy, and uncommon determination as a varsity swimmer, a restaurant server, and a mentor to other students. In her first year at Grand Rapids Community College, the woman who encouraged everyone to love harder was gone. Kent County deputies said Downs' best friend, Ella Vesey, was heading northbound on Jericho, about to crest the biggest hill, when she told deputies she was surprised by a southbound vehicle that was driving close to the center line. That, she said, was what prompted her to swerve and lose control. I've been on the hill at night going the direction the girls were going, and you don't see lights until you get to the very top of that hill. And VC hit that hill at more than 100 miles an hour, according to the investigator who analyzed the Jetta's event data recorder. When the car slammed into a tree, reports said the impact sheared off the entire passenger side. Passenger seat and the driver's seat were in two different spots on the road. She didn't realize that her friend wasn't right there at first. She was just so scared. It was just, it was heartbreaking. This one obviously shows the hill going up. Defense attorneys usually save their arguments for the courtroom, but Ella Vesey's lawyer has a mission that goes beyond defending his client. There's a reason why it happened. There's a reason why both of these young ladies in a joint venture went out to take the jump on Jericho Road. Jericho, said Sawyer, is just too steep, too narrow, and for teens, too tempting. Investigators said cell phone video shot by Downs from the passenger seat showed the women yelling and laughing as they appeared to go airborne over a smaller hill first. But just before the video cut off, as they approached the steepest hill, the report noted Downs appeared to say, slow down a little bit. It was too late. 
There's people call. screaming. Tests showed no evidence that alcohol and drugs were factors in the crash, and Rockford High School surveillance cameras showed Downs had been driving that night, too. Deputies said when the Jetta entered the school's parking lot the third and final time, it stopped and the women switched seats. It was Downs' Jetta, but it was VC's turn to jump the hill. All the kids at the high school knew about it, just as I knew about it in 1966. Come on. In April 1966, Carrie Sawyer was an eighth grader in Rockford. And two friends of mine, Steve McConnell and Tom Darling, they were in ninth grade. Tom Darling had a sports car, and they took it out on Jericho Road, took the jump, flipped it, and it killed them both. Records show there have been six deaths over six decades, and at least four non-fatal hill jumping crashes since 2004. Four of the six who died were teenagers, including 15-year-old McConnell and 16-year-old Darling. And a dozen years later, 17-year-old Rick Armstrong, who was a passenger in a friend's car in September of 78 when it crashed at Jericho's Hill. After Armstrong's death, Rockford students petitioned the Road Commission to re-engineer or cut down the hill to make Jericho safer. But neighbors later argued against that, fearing the change would bring more traffic. It's a hazard that needs to be fixed. Right now, the only posted signs advise 35 miles an hour on either side of the hill, one of the county's steepest. Jericho is 60% steeper than what engineers recommend for newly constructed roads. But state guidelines say existing hills, like Jericho, can stay unless there's been a concentration of crashes. The Kent County Road Commission said it wouldn't talk to Target 8 about Jericho because the county's facing a possible lawsuit over it. I don't think I'll ever not think about that when I'm looking that way. Or Jamie and Nikki Feldkamp support dropping the speed limit to 45 and wonder if more lighting, signs, and guardrails might help. But they also recognize. I mean, if people are going to go fast, I don't know what your options are. Next up is Ella Michi. Ella V.C., originally charged with a felony, pleaded no contest to moving violation causing death, a misdemeanor that carries up to a year in jail. Nevaeh Downs' mom told me she has forgiven her daughter's best friend and did not want to see her charged criminally. She does hope that her daughter's death will prompt change to Jericho and an end to its deadly draw. In Plainfield Township, I'm Target 8 investigator Susan Samples.